first fish of the day on the phone bite. Gotta love a good phone bite. Today I'm out on Lake Chelan, which is a massive body of water in central Washington and is just absolutely packed with kokanee. Um, this lake, because of its size and because of the nature of the kokanee here and their behavior and the limited number of access points on the lake is kind of a challenging lake for the kayak anglers. So today I thought I'd go over a little bit about the background on this kokanee fishery, uh, some of the best locations to target kokanee on this lake, um, and when to target them, and where you can also launch on this lake to access these best trolling lanes for kokanee. All right, Let's see if we can get the first fish of the day in the boat here. There we go. There's our first fish of the day. Nice little kokanee. There we go. There's fish. So at over 55 miles long and a mile wide, understanding the migratory patterns of kokanee in Lake Chelan is pretty important to uh, having a successful day out on the water. Now, most of the spawning streams um, that kokanee use in Lake Chelan are on the upper end of the lake, away from the lower basin and the town of Chelan and Manson. They do put hatchery fish in here to supplement, um, and those fish uh, do tend to orient a little bit more to the lower basin. But in general, most of the fish are going to move up lake during the fall to hit their spawning lakes. And there are those fish that are non-breeders uh, tend to move up lake with them. And they'll spend the fall and winter in the upper parts of the lake. And then as the spring progresses and they draw the lake down, uh, and then the flow of the water starts pulling down towards the, the dam, the fish will move down lake as the lake fills, just following the... There we go, that's a good looking fish. Following the nutrient supply and flow of water. There we go. Get this stowed away. So in general, you're going to find more fish in the lower basin uh, during the spring and summer months. And then as we transition back to fall, those fish are going to move back up lake. So you need to be thinking about that in terms of picking the locations that you want to fish in. Oh, there's fish on the drop. Nice. Sometimes you get them just dropping it down there. So a lot of kayak anglers are going to want to fish this lake during the late spring and summer months. And during that time, one of the best areas to target is the lower basin. And there's a really easy to identify troll lane there. If you look on the north shore, you'll see the red roofs of Lake Chelan Shores Resort. And if you look on the south shore, just a little bit more up lake, you'll see these bright blue roofs. If you just troll a line between those red roofs and blue roofs, you'll tend to find a good number of kokanee stacked in that area. Another fish. Now there's a convenient park located called, well, nearby, called Lakeside Park. It's only about a one mile paddle to the blue roof to red roof troll line in the lower basin. So that's a good spot to target anytime from late spring into the summer when the fish have moved down lake. Now, during the summertime, you'll find a lot of other boat traffic down there, skiers and things like that. So make sure that you get out on the water early to avoid boat traffic and also have a safety flag so people can see you because there'll be a lot of people not paying attention and drinking out on the lake and stuff. It could be dangerous. Yep, 
fish. So today where I'm at, I'm out in front of Manson Bay and off of Wapato Point, which is a very good area in late spring, early spring, and in the fall. Now, sometimes fish will hold here through the summer and winter, so it's a good spot to check if you're not really willing to go up lake or access to the up lake locations is closed. This guy in the boat. There we go. Got him. Now the Manson Bay Shelf and Wapato Point are best accessed from the town of Manson itself. They have a launch right in town there that isn't very heavily used by powerboat anglers. So it's a really nice spot. It's kind of a weird launch. You gotta like drive over the sidewalk and then down to the ramp and then there's a turnaround spot and you can back down to the ramp. That launch is free and doesn't require a pass, but you do have to kind of drive up and park in downtown Manson. And one of the best things about the Manson spot is that it's only about a quarter mile paddle to the fishing grounds and there's a brewery right there at the boat ramp. So just across the street from where you normally would park right in downtown. So you can grab a beer and some grub right after a day of fishing. Here's fish. Nice. Now directly across from Manson Bay, you'll find Lake Chelan State Park which is actually an excellent place to also troll for kokanee, especially from Lake Chelan State Park on the South Shore all the way up to Sunny Bank. And then one thing I really like about that spot is you can launch and essentially a few hundred yards off the ramp, you can start fishing for kokanee. It's a great uh, spring fall transition uh, troll, just like Manson Bay is. And it provides one of the best access to the Narrows, which is a long two and a half mile paddle up the lake, but it's one of the first places that turns on in the spring and in the fall. There we go. Now the Narrows is, like I said, two and a half miles up the lake, but that's often uh, a very good spot, especially when you want to get into a winter kokanee fishery that's usually about as far down the lake as you'll find good numbers of wintering kokanee there'll always be a few kokanee scattered in the lower basin but from the narrows on up is usually where it's good Whew, i almost lost that kokanee Hope i got another one here Let's see if i can get this guy before he falls there we go Nice double. There we go. Nice. Nice to be able to convert a double. Doesn't happen every day in the kayak. Oh, there's another fish right there. So today I was actually struggling to find them a little bit in the morning and then I realized I wasn't really marking that many which suggested to me that they were probably shallower and just because of the way your cone functions on your transducer if a fish is shallower it's covering a smaller area and probably just missing them. But Chelan kokanee do tend to run deeper than a lot of other kokanee in the northwest. And so it makes it a little bit more challenging for the kayak angler, especially those running without downriggers like I do. But the nice thing is in the spring, early summer, this fish will be feeding at around 30 to 60 feet like they are today. Right now they're in about 30 feet deep. But the rest of the year, they will tend to run deeper. So generally in the winter, you're going to find them 60 to 110 feet deep. Um, and they will then gradually come up shallower into the late spring and summer, feeding at around 30 to 40 feet. And then as we trans transition in the late summer and they head back up lake, they start moving um, a little bit deeper again. Uh, so 
again, they'll start moving deeper back towards that winter depth of 60 to 110 feet. There we go. Now the furthest up lake you can go and launch your kayak is at 25 Mile Creek State Park, which is closed November through March. But it's a great place to go in October if you want a last stab at them, or in April if you want a first stab at them as they're coming back down the lake. You'll need a Discover Pass to launch there, but otherwise you can just fish right out in front of the creek and the nearby points and do pretty well. I've also caught a fair number of Chinook there too. There we go. Fish coming in here. Got him. There's fish. Off. Now he's still there. Now you do need to take some caution because Lake Chelan is a big lake. Uh, it has north-south sections and east-west sections. And depending on the wind, it can get very uh, challenging out here in terms of conditions, wave conditions, um, and wind conditions, which can make it pretty dangerous for a kayaker. So be aware also, if you're gonna fish it during those transition periods in the fall and spring, water temps can be very cold and very dangerous. So always wear the proper immersion gear and always wear a PFD when you're out here. That's number 10 for me, so that makes it for my day. If you guys have any questions about kayak fishing Lake Chelan, just let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time out on the water. Bye.